There is a place. A place where the autumn sun drenches the air with a welcoming warmness. A place where disc golfers soak up that warmth to tackle the challenge when from gold will throw their way. Site of 15 major championships, this is hollowed ground in Rock Hill, South Carolina. A place where the best disc golfers gather each October to compete, to celebrate, to challenge for the most coveted title in our sport. United States Disc Golf Champion. It's the USDGC at Winthrop University in Rock Hill, South Carolina. And it is the place, the place for champions. Join us October 3rd through the 6th to discover who will be this year's champion. And here we are back at the 2009 U.S. Open, picking up the coverage on the 18th green, uh, waiting for Josh Anton to finish his round. Um, we didn't get a chance to see his drive. He should be up into the fairway here. And uh, Josh is having one of those rounds that are just, just going to set him apart in U.S. history. Josh Anton was 17 under after 17 holes. He's coming from the fourth card, and he's just pushing the envelope like nobody's business. My name's Jim Oates, and uh, Terry will be waiting out there for him. Looks like uh, Barry just saw his upshot. Still on the 18th green. Got a chance to watch Josh hopefully crush the course record here with a final little approach shot and another birdie. Be 18 for 18. Just an amazing thing. Here's Dave Himmeline right here. Josh Anton is 33 under total. What's our leaders at? 32. So Josh is in the lead right now. And I don't even know if the lead group knows that. This is very exciting. Here's Dave Himmeline. We had a chance to interview Dave the other day. And uh, he told us he might pull out that two. Oh my gosh. Uh, we thought we might see the hook thumber, but he went with the backhand. Just to give you a quick up, it, update, Josh Anton approaching his approach shot now in the 18th hole. He's 33 under, uh, 17 for 17. Nico is 32 under, and they should be moving up on the 15th hole or so. That should be through 15th, and Felberg is two back of him at 30. No update on Nate or, uh, or Phil at this time. There's Avery, excellent up shot, plays by the tree and the roots. That should stay on top. Nate's at 27 and Phil is at 29 and they are on 15. Here's Josh Anton, it looks like he, is he coming up to a flag? He is. It looks like his roller uh, went out of bounds at that point. So all we need from Josh right now is a nice solid approach shot for the three. He comes into the clubhouse in the lead and really puts the pressure on these players to finish out. We do know that the lead group has to play, of course, the dreaded 17. And, oh yeah! Unbelievable. Josh's great approach shot right there. And uh, when Josh finishes up here, um, we're going to switch over to Terry out in the field. Uh, Terry Miller uh, with a quick interview with Josh uh, to get a little feedback from the Rio Linda boy NorCal. Uh, very exciting round for him today. I know he's frustrated with his first and his third rounds, but uh, shot outstanding second and looks like his fourth is going to be really outstanding. Big smiles from Josh right now, par in his last hole. Here's Dave Himmeline, uh, also threw out of bounds on that one. Looks like he's going to just play a little turnover approach trying to get a good idea remember how much this final green slopes so this is it's, his disc is going to pan out and he doesn't want it to go too far or get a little roll looks like it was nice safe oh yeah adequate somebody 
most of us can make that putt. Another great shot. The day turned out to be all right. We were expecting a little bit of rain and it kind of pushed north of us. We got a couple of sprinkles early in the day, but for the most part, the ground has stayed dry. If you remember yesterday, we had an interview with Barry Schultz, who's about to putt right here, and he talked about when the grass gets wet, how slip, slippery it gets, and how many skips you can get. But today, everything went well. The course record, of course, is 55 under, or 55 total score on a par 68. Here's Barry, a little downhill, 35, nothing but net. Good job, Barry, way to finish strong. Way to finish strong. Just a great sportsman, that Barry Schultz, I'll tell you. You know, whether he's winning or he's losing, you know, he can grind it out, but he's always got a great attitude and a tremendous spirit for people, even when they beat him. He's the first guy to shake their hand, congratulate them on great play. Nico is now 33 under, so it looks like he's going to be tied with Josh going into hole 16. Here's a little downhiller for Avery, makes it count. That'll finish it up for Avery. He had kind of a rocky U.S. Open this year. I know he was a little frustrated at times, but that's kind of what the U.S. Open can do to you. And Josh Anton tapping out. Yep, giving a little cheer to the crowd. Knows he set the record. He had a shot at tying it the other day and felt a little frustrated missing his last putt. Um, but today, there's no doubt about it. Josh has just set the course record. 17 under. There is no final nine, so we'll, there will be a playoff if there is a tie. So anything can happen, of course. And uh, I think they're going to get an opportunity to switch over to uh, Josh Anton and Terry Miller. It'll be in just one mi minute as we our director is motioning to us as he's sweating and running and trying to figure out which way is the best way to go. There's Shway. He's another great guy. You know, we're just, it's, it's just amazing when you come here to the U.S. Open as a competitor or even as a spectator, the talent of disc golfers that are here is just amazing. I mean, if you got a chance at nighttime or even right now, if you have a chance to go to another screen on your, uh, on your uh, computer at home and just check out the thousand rated players, they're all here. They're all here. And uh, you can be a thousand rated player and you'll be lucky if you get in the top 60 unless you're banging away at those 1,070, 1,060 rounds. You shoot a 1,010 round, you're just about where I am, way down there in about 40th. Not to mention the world champions that are here in attendance uh, for Masters as well as for Open. Um, there's a master champion right there walking up the fairway. We're moving over in three, two, one. There we go. We're going to send it out to Terry right now. No, we're going to jump back to 17. We were about to send it out to Terry to visit with Josh, but it looks like we're going to go ahead and watch this on 17. Out on fire. We can't wait to hear what he has to say about it. Lots of action going on out here. He started out hot. We're going to see how Dion Arlen is up on the tee box for us. How else is the leader He's going to throw a nice little two finger. Get a little speed there. He's got a little speed. Oh, oh, what a bounce! And we're going to cut away here from 17 right now. We're going to go over to Terry and have a little interview with Josh Anton. Jim, you keep going. The new record right now. Oh, back to me. Okay. Uh, the new record that Josh just shot, crushing the record by two strokes, is a 53. Josh Anton just shot a 53. And uh, looks like a little hyzer shot. Another great safe shot. We've already got one in the in. Don't know who's up now. A 
Another drive on 17. Looks like he's playing it very safe. Oh, the tree helped him there. Tree definitely helped him out. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Well, here we are at the USDGC. We've got a couple cards still coming in, but hot out of the presses comes Josh Anthon. We're going to talk to him and see what he just shot. He's in there counting scores right now. He doesn't have a lot of scores to count. That's the awesome part. We're checking out action here on 18. Who knows? Is his score going to hold up? This is unbelievable action out here, right here, live at the USDGC. Smiles, lots of people having a good time. We've got Joey Mila, UC Merezma. He's going to be taking his third shot here on 18. Not in a good position. He has to decide if he wants to just lay up, and it looks like he will be doing just that. He's laid onto the chips, had a little roll down. He should have a tap in. He's pretty happy about it. He gives us this fist pump. He's excited. Very quick layup we have over by Will Susterich. Really a putt he couldn't run at. The rest of the competitors, Paul Ulibari, Joe Mila, they're going to size up where they're at. They have to decide, should they be running at this putt or do they just need to lay up? Joe converses with the caddy. Joe's a phenomenal putter. He's really got to make, make his decision here if he's going to be going at this or if he's just going to lay it under the bucket. Nice, slow, steady concentration behind him. You have Paul. Oh, Joe is waiting on a rosin bag that's going to help him dry off his disc, dry off his hands. This could be the potential. This could make a difference of a few hundred dollars. Joe's lining up his putt. Straddle putt. We have a nice size gallery here watching the action right behind him. He has the death putt downhill. He throws it, oh, asks for it to get up, and it's not in time. Comes up just short of the basket. Another young gun, Paul Ulibari, is up. Like all these other guys in the top few cards, excellent putter. As he stares down the basket here on his will be his last hole this year's USDGC. Throws it up. Oh, just like Joe, inches short, frustrated. Will, Sch will Schusterick's gonna walk up and throws it in. The rest of the players, UC's going to now putt out. He throws in, gives himself a clap. I'm guessing UC has come in with a good round. He seems excited about both of his throws. Get him, get him, get him!
get him. Come on. Go, go, go. Got you guys. All right, just getting in scoring ten. Scoring ten, Josh Anton. Josh, tell us about this round. That's one of my best rounds of my life by far. I don't see many people beating it no time soon. And uh, if something happens crazy here, I might just win this tournament from the fourth card. What, what did you shoot? You got to tell everybody here at home. Uh, shot 15 down. I was 16 under for the first 16 holes. So Bogey 17, and then part 18, shoot 15. Now, in the last two holes, you went four and then four. You took a par on the last hole, but you took a bogey on the second to last hole. What yeah. was going through your mind? All the pressure that I might win this tournament if I don't choke on these last two holes. Did you have any idea what was going on in the cards behind you? I didn't care. You didn't care. You no. were just out there tearing it up, shredding it. What was the key to success today? Were you just that focused? You ready to pull no. this off after the World Championships? Yeah, nothing will break my concentration again. I ain't going to have uh, too many more seconds. Maybe this one, but hopefully not many more. What do you think this round's going to be rated? Everyone at home is going to be talking about round ratings. I know they're in your mind. What are you thinking? It better be something good or they need to change the rating system. <laughs> what, two days ago, you were only one putt away from tying the course record. How did that make you feel, and did that strive for you to come back out today? Yeah, that strived me. What, what was the, uh, the challenge that you had uh, two days ago? Uh, just a couple putts from getting the same score I got today. Everyone was following along, checking out the scores, checking out the dots. Where was your little hiccup this morning, and how did you make up for that? Uh, this morning, the only hole I missed was um, hole 10. The only putt I missed, and then I missed hole 17 and 18. Were you driving for the green on 10 for the eagle, or were you just laying up? Going no, I just laid up, laid up again, missed the putt. Got a little distracted on my putt. When you got up to 17 and you threw your first one and it hit the hay bale, it looks like you had a little bit of a wind bounce. What was going through your mind? Did you think you cleared it? No. <laughs> I didn't think I did off the, right off the bat. Okay, and then you threw the second shot, which was almost identical. Were you, were you worried as soon as you let go of that one? Yeah, I knew as soon as I released it, it was no good. So when you finally got over the bales, you were looking at, what, about 30 feet? Yeah. What were you thinking at that point? I got to make this. Then there was never a doubt at any point. No. Nope. You think you can still pull this off? Yeah, I do. That 17 is crazy. They're coming up to a real scary hole right now. I just got over it with the four. If they do uh, worse, then it's game on. Well, we hope it's yours. Everyone play disc golf. Try to beat that score, I dare you. Thank you, Josh. All right, here we are back at live action. Thanks for Josh taking a couple of minutes out for us. It looks like Nate Doss on the tee. Give you a quick update on the rundown on the score. Nate Doss is at 28 under. Looks like his first shot is in. And we have Phil Arthur also at 28. We have uh, Dave Felberg at 31. And it looks like Nico has made push through and he's now at 34 under. Looks like Dave's on the tee with his first drive. Looks like he's got good distance. He's got a great touch on this. This is perfect. Way to go, Dave. All right. All right. Looks like we picked up another one right here. Maybe Nico had already thrown and is next to the basket as well. All right. Looks like Phil taking his shot on 17. Clear the bail, clear the bail. Yeah, oh my gosh, that lead group just made that hole look big, didn't they? That green is huge. The rest of us think that green's just an itty bitty little target to hit, and we all bail right, but those guys make that thing look like they got, they got all kinds of room. It's been a great event this year. Lots of go people going way low every year, Jonathan, and Harold works so hard to make it a little tougher on us and the talent just gets better and better and we just keep making it look easier and easier. Well, some of us do. Here comes Nico, that young man, looking at his first big title right here. All four are inside the circle. Oh, you got to imagine the nerves going through his head right now, little Nico, huh?
crosses out. Forward. Yeah, he is. He's just outside the edge of the circle. I don't know if you can pick that up, but it looks like it's probably about a 35 footer. Okay, lining it up. Oh, yeah, nice shot. Just catching the right corner of the chains there. We got Terry Miller joining us here. Hello, how are we doing today? Catching up on some pretty hot action, I guess. Yeah, nice little interview with Josh over there. It's glad you could catch up with him. We got Nico up. Part of his life right here, huh? He's got to be knocking a little bit. Oh yeah, you got it. You had to be had to feel for the kid. He's he's got a few stroke lead and uh, just feeling the pressure right there. We few of us have felt that many many times. Right off the bat, he knew he that he had he knew that he was a little short on that butt. The crowd was holding perfectly still. We got Phil putting out. We got Dave, Dave Feldberg stepping up to drop in. Okay, as soon as we uh, get these guys to finish up on the 18th hole, we're going to send it over to John to do some interviews. Um, but uh, we're going to go ahead and keep it here with the live action through the 18th hole. Very exciting. Again, our update on our score is Nico at 34, Felberg 32, Doss at 29, and Phil Arthur is at 29. Moving over to the 18th hole. And we know that a two-stroke swing is definitely possible. Okay, as they approach the tee pad and finish up with their scores. Now we'll send it out to John as he watches the teams come up. You're not going anywhere, Jim. You're right next to me here, buddy. Stick with me. This has come down to just an incredible, incredible storybook finish here at the 2009 United States Disc Golf Championship. The conditions today were just spectacular, much to the contrary of what our weather forecasts were, and the scores are definitely showing. You just saw Josh Anton, who just put a show on. Dion Arlen here on the fairway of 18. Looks like Dion, he went out of bounds on this shot. He has a little short approach shot. Dion's going to go to a forehand. Try to do a dog leg to the left here. Looks like our lead group is waiting on the tee, waiting for this group to finish. That's a nice shot. Nate Doss is trying to size it up back there. He's just waiting for the green flag. I think they're going to try to hold him up until this group finishes. Kayla Visca lining up a putt here. This is about a 100 footer going down the hill, and he's going to play it safe. Heisering it in right in towards the hole. Nice throw, Kale. Derek Billings at 24 under. Also, it looks like he. Had a tough, we talked about it earlier, how tough the approach is on the left-hander coming up the fairway. He's just out of bounds. Well, we have our lead group now on the tee of 18, and Feldberg doing a roller, and that thing's going to go to the left OB. The red flag comes out. Feldberg holding his hands on his head. Possibly wondering what could have been. That's true, yeah. Did Nico be up last? And of course, he's feeling a little bit more comfortable now that he sees that Dave got the red flag. But Dave is way up the fairway and will be able to get a par. Here comes the goal. He's going to go with the lefty. Nice Stay throw. Down. Stay down. Oh, tough break. That also skipped out on the ropes. We don't know what happened to Nate yet. Did Nate wind up in the middle of the fairway? We missed that drive. And here comes Nico. Nate's in the fairway. So Nate's got an opportunity to make a move uh, on third and maybe even make a move on Dave. 
Regardless, gang, this is shaping up to be an epic finish here at the 2009 United States Disc Golf Championship. And Nico is in the... throws a beautiful drive safe. He's going to have a great approach for his right hand. Well, here comes our lead group up the fairway. Things are extremely tight here. We're going to check the scorecard real quick and see what the scores are. So right now we have Nico with 34 under par, Dave Feldberg 32 under par, Nathan and Phil with 29 under par. So Nico on his way, he has a two throw lead here, coming up the 18th fairway over Dave Feldberg. Get this card out of here. Nico began the national tour. Nico began the national tour winning the 2009 Memorial out in Scottsdale, Arizona. And he looks like if he can play it safe here, he will be on his way to concluding the national tour with the 2009 United States Disc Golf Championship. Taking a nice mosey, he is feeling it. He, I'm sure he has a lot of emotions going on right here. Has his game face on, checking out where the basket is. So Nico has eyed up his upshot here. He has a two throw advantage over Dave Feldberg. He's 34 under par. Feldberg 32 under par. And Phil and Nader 29 under par. Nico not leaving anything to chance here. He walked all the way halfway up the fairway anyway to look up the shot. There's a huge gallery here in Rock Hill, South Carolina as we come down to the climactic ending of our 2009 United States Disc Golf Championship coverage. Nicola Castro. Nico keeps it nice and low, a little Anheuser, and he is making a fantastic shot right to the mouth of the green, and he is in great shape here. Looks like Nico has just a layup and a putt, and he's on his way to his first United States Disc Golf Championship. What a great performance by Nico. Learning new, new ways to play the game every year. He's a risk taker. Dave's in second place. He's two throws off. Looks like Phil Arthur's going to be. He is still battling with uh, Nate Doss. They're 29 under par. They're tied. So these are very, very meaningful shots right here. Phil's going to go to his right hand on this approach shot tough angle here. He has the out of bounds on the right side and he's got the tree on the left and he has to thread the needle here. Nice low shot but that's going to have to get down and oh, bad break. Pretty much the only low hanging tree on the entire mouth to the green the putting area. Phil caught it. So Nate stepping up now. He saw Phil's mistake. He has a chance here to get it close. Let's see how aggressive he's going to be. These competitors all know their scores here. Nate's changing discs out. He's going to go. He's going to wipe his disc down. Nate tied for, with 29 under par, tied with Phil Arthur. Battling for position here. This is a very meaningful shot from Nate Doss, Santa Cruz, California. He's trying to see if he has clearance on that branch that's hanging right in front of him. That's the hazard of landing way up on the fairway. Let's see what Nate has for us. Really tough throw. Had the high release and he did hit the tree on halfway up the fairway and that is really going to be a tough one for Nate. Here come our competitors up the 18th green here. Not what Nate wanted to do. He had to raise up his release point a little bit higher took some of the power off it and he nailed the tree here halfway up the fairway. Dave Feldberg now taking his paces off the OB string setting up what will be his third shot. You can see that, how the elevation really is dramatic here as he can he's a tough time putting toe to heel on his way up the hill. Dave's now retrieving his disc. 
And let's see if Feldberg has another great shot in his bag here. Solidly uh, in second place here. He is going to take the walk up the fairway too. From where he sits, there is no visual to the basket. He has to walk up the fairway. He's got to take a good look at it. He's measuring it out. I believe he's using that tree stump at the mouth of the putting green as a measuring stick. And Dave Feldberg, the 2005 US DGC champion, he's lining up what may be the final approach shot for him before he goes to his putts. Feldberg lines it up. We have a great gallery here in Rock Hill and what spectacular conditions making for some un unbelievable scores here in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Dave gets nice and low on that release characteristic. He's going to play the skip shot. Goes up to the left and he's right by the cedar stump up there. So he has a decision to make. Here comes Nate now. A little bad luck on his, well a lot of bad luck I should say, on his upshot, Nate Doss. It's gonna, this is still a meaningful shot for Nate because he does not know where Phil Arthur landed. You know he hit the tree. And Nate's gonna have to play this aggressively. You're watching live internet broadcast coverage of the 2009 United States Disc Golf Championship. Here's Nate Doss. He's got a good grip on his disc. Let's watch this. Another high release. He's looking to go under the tree. And it looks like he has made it. We're waiting for the flag man. He gives him the green. That's exactly what Nate wanted to see in that situation. And now Phil Arthur walking up our 2009 Masters World Champion. What a privilege it is to have Phil in the lead group here. Phil is showing that he still has plenty of skills left. In fact, he is getting better with age. You can see Phil eyeing up his OB spot here with the flag on the side of the string. Nice upshot from Phil. He's right under the basket. He'll be able to fill out here his last putt. Nico goes under the basket. A little daring as Nico's been known to do. He's a high risk player. Nico LeCastro bringing a little sigh of relief here. Here's Dave Feldberg. Dave shooting for his four here. He went out of bounds on his tee shot. This is for a four. Let's see how he's going to play this. He does have at least a one throw advantage. Dave is going to need this putt to stay ahead of Josh at 31. There's the release and Feldberg to the basket. He hits the puck. And look at that talent from Dave Feldberg. He just locked up second place with that incredible high risk putt. That's a putt many players don't shoot on the first round, but they are definitely going for it on the last round of the event here. Here's Nate Doss shooting up the hill. Last year's champion, Nate Doss. Taking a deep breath. Great tournament this year, but it's not going to be a repeat for Nate Doss. He is lined up. And Nate bears the putt. There's Phil Arthur. And walking up now to his disc. Walking up to his disc is Nico LeCastro. There's Nico LeCastro, your 2009 United States Disc Golf Champion. We're going to have him, we're going to have him uh, verify the cards first. There's Nico with great reaction. Loving the chains. There's Nico LeCastro. Ladies and gentlemen, our 2009 United States Disc Golf Champion, Nico LeCastro. I feel great. I'm very honored to have this award. I played with a lot of great players and uh, 
I'm just, I'm very lucky to be where I'm at in my life right now. I have a lot of good friends and a lot of good support from my friends and family, and I'm just, I'm very honored to do, do this and be here right now. Well, Mika, don't go away yet. I'm going to ask you, you really battled all week long. What made the difference for you here at the United States Disc Golf Championship? I just kept my competitive edge and tried not to let any bad luck or bad shots get to my head because uh, I know eventually if I throw enough good shots, I feel like I'm going to be at the top at every tournament I go to. Well, you're definitely a great town. Congratulations to our 2009 United States Disc Golf Champion. Sure. Thank you. There goes Nico in the scoring booth. He's very pumped up. Very excited. Great young for Nico to catch. So his resume at such a young we all know who won this. It just has to become official. Nico LeCastro from Missouri. He is your 2009 champion. He is on his way to a big celebration in the scoring, the scoring tent. What a fantastic performance. Nico LeCastro showing he has grown up literally on the disc golf course. He brought things in this year. We saw the emotion after he won that event. Brian, get him! Brian! Come Nico.
Okay, guys. We're back here at the United States Disc Golf Championship. Okay, we are back live at the 2009 United States Disc Golf Championship. And we're going to make our way down to the presentation ceremonies, the award ceremonies. Nico LaCastro. Got everything set. Get in between us. Get in between us. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here at the award ceremony for the 2009 United States Disc Golf Championship. I'd like to do, introduce our event director, Jonathan Poole. Congratulations. Thank you, Jonathan. Uh, on behalf of Innova Disc Golf and all of our tournament partners, I'd like to congratulate you and present you with the 2009 United States Disc Golf Championship Champions Trophy. Yes, sir. Again, congratulations. Thank you. That's a heavy <laughs> There's Nico LaCastro lifting up this hefty trophy. Yes! There you go, Nico. Enjoy the moment, Nico. Thank you, guys. If you just spend a minute for us right here. Nico LaCastro, you're our 2009 United States Disc Golf Champion. Tell us a little bit about your performance today and what made the difference. It's a great honor. I just, I stayed competitive. I, I never felt like I, I was going to play bad. I just felt like eventually I'm going to throw enough good shots and I'm going to be at the top. That's what I felt like today. Give us a little bit of the highlights of your round today. I don't feel like I did anything that special. I just kept it in bounds, stayed in the fairway, made a couple putts. Uh, you know, I, I threw a couple I threw some good drives mostly. I missed I missed more jump putts than I usually do, but I still f felt like overall I just played very steady and smooth golf. Tell us a little bit. You came into hole 18 with a two-throw advantage. Tell us about that majestic walk up the fairway of 18. How did that make well, you feel? Well, I never felt like it's over till it's actually over, but I, I made a decision to lay up instead of doing a roller. So, so at worst, I was going to take a four. That's what I felt like. And if I take a four on the last hole, I felt like I'm going to win the tournament. So I felt like I just played smart on the last hole. You started the national tour with uh, the memorial title. You ended the national tour with the United States Disc Golf title. Nico LaCastro, your 2009 United States Disc Golf champion. Congratulations. It feels great. Thank you, everybody. Thanks. Great. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope you enjoyed live coverage here from Rock Hill, South Carolina. Historic event here. Four days of live coverage at the 2009 United States Disc Golf Championship. We'd like to thank everybody for their participation. I'm John Dusler. Hope you enjoyed the broadcast. Thanks so much.